ride. It is March 14th. Um, headed down to the farm I shot my bow deer on for one last shed hunt. Um, I am going to grid search the entire farm, do everything I possibly can to uh, pick up any sheds that are there. Uh, I've been on here twice and I have found four fresh ones and one old one. Normally this is a 15, 20 antler farm and I'm really hoping that I can rally today and pick up a few good antlers because during the season there were over 30 different bucks that I had on camera, a couple slammers, one giant eight. I'm really hoping to find his sheds. I've never found any, but I had pictures of him later into the year and after the season. So that being said, I'm just rolling into the farm now. I'm gonna park and get my boots on and get after it. Just over two and a half miles. Finally found the first shed. Super thick, nasty, multi-floor rows, all sorts of vines, horrible walking, and uh, even harder to find sheds in, but finally found one. Don't know if it's old or fresh, but it counts. Ugh. Pretty sure it's an old one. Nice young deer, but makes the day a little bit better. Now, if we can keep on finding them. Well, a little over five and a half miles in, just found shed number two. And I'm grid searching. What that means is I'm going up and down and up and down this giant field. CRP filled back and forth, back and forth. I've already walked within 50 yards of this shed twice. Um, I walked within five yards of it the first time I was here, but that was in February and there was snow on the ground. So we're gonna pick that bad boy up. There you go. Fresh one, not very big, but it counts, it's number two. And here's another reason grid searching is so important. I just found another antler. It's an old one. And the last one I found was right there by that tree. I'm 20 yards away from it. And I didn't see this lane here. And I didn't see this lane here the first two times I was walking this field either. But just the difference in the sun angle and, you know, looking left or right, up or down, depending on if it's cloudy, sunny, snow cover. That's why grid searching, especially open fields like this, is so important. You can find a lot of sheds if you just slow down, take your time, and uh, put in the miles. So this just gets me more and more excited and I'm number three for the day. All right, just found number three of the grid search for the day at six and a half miles. Right out here in the open, middle of nowhere. Perfect. This grid search is working out exactly how it's supposed to. All right, just found number five on the day. It looks like a pretty good antler. Doing my grid searching. This is the fourth one on the grid search. And it's definitely a solid antler. Oh, there's the match. Right there. Right here. And right up here. I know this deer, this the unicorn buck. I'll never be able to find the third piece, but you can kind of tell on this antler right there. He had a he had a tine that came straight out of the middle of his forehead that was probably about four inches long. 
but I don't think that's going to be found because I actually have pictures of them without it and the antler's still on. So, but this is a really nice set, nice young deer, two year old, and a couple years he's going to be a tank. So, this grid searching, like I can't can't say it enough. Grid searching when you're all done with your farm, especially on CRP, uh, you can rack up a lot of a lot of sheds. You rack up a lot of miles, but you can rack up a lot of sheds too. I am at mile number 7.75. Just got done grid searching all this hillside. My backpack is about 100 yards away. I look over and I find an old one. Just all the tines just poking out of the grass. Nothing crazy, but it counts. That's the uh, four or five. That is the sixth antler on just this big hillside um, grid searching. I got two other sections that I'm gonna grid search on the other side of the creek, and hopefully they're half as productive as this was, and this will be one heck of a day. So I have found just about everything shed hunting that you could for Iowa. I have never found a lock set of bucks and I just crossed off the other thing that I've never found besides a huge giant hunter and shed. They're together. Holy crap. There are three antlers on this. There's a set and then another one. I don't even know how that's possible. Look at this, there are three antlers. One, two, three. I'm absolutely speechless right now. This is insane. And I walked here a month ago and there was still snow on the ground. So either these are either fresh or they were underneath the snow. Once again, got a grid search. Well, I'm on my first pass back on this side. Um, I just found one. I don't know if it's old or fresh. It's pretty white, so it's probably an old one. Yeah, it's underneath some grass. I don't know what's going on there. Obviously, maybe broken off, but I mean, it's it's old for sure, but I'll have to look back and see if I have any pictures of this deer, but it's definitely old. It was under grass. Well, I don't know, maybe it could have been early drop. That looks pretty brown still. Funky though. Keep going. Five and a half hours in. A little under 12 miles. And uh, I'm pretty much done at this farm. I grid searched two or three areas I really wanted to. And I'm honestly exhausted. Oh, I uh, got one more chunk of timber that I want to look at real fast on my way out. And then I'm all done on this farm for sheds. And I just found a matching set. Not even kidding. The big eight is right there. No freaking way. That might not even be this year's. I think that's last year's antlers. Those are last year's. The big eight. His set's laying right here. And I've walked by it half a dozen times. That's awesome. Now maybe I can find the other sets laying out here in the open. Maybe I will come back one more time. I'm a little more energized and uh, walk the rest of this grass. Because obviously they can be laying right there and you miss them. Let's pick these bad boys up. Oh, definitely old. 
There's his left side and his right side. That's an awesome way to cap off this shed hunt. I've said I've never been able to find his antlers and to find a set laying literally right by each other from last year. I bet you his other ones are laying out here in the middle of this grass somewhere too, but there's a lot of acres of grass out here. I'm gonna have to pick another day and come out here, maybe bring the e-bike and drive it around, cover some ground, but I'm still gonna do what I was gonna do. I'm gonna go hit this last chunk of timber and I'm gonna get out of here. Well, the only thing I really wanted to do in this little chunk of timber is this. This is the arrow from my bow box. I was too excited to go back and look at it and look for it when I killed my deer. So I figured snow's all gone. I'm gonna go look. And sure enough, it was about 40 yards away from where I hit him. Stuck in him a little bit. I had hit him back because he was quartering away. And uh, it ended up pretty good. Hit an artery into the liver and would have exited out of one of the lungs, but he bled out within like 150 yards. So that was awesome. And uh, like I said, the only, th only piece of the puzzle I was missing was my arrow. Now I have it. I'm headed back to the truck. I'm exhausted. Well, that was a long one. Six hours and 12 and a half miles. Um, I don't know how many sheds I found, maybe a dozen, uh, but I need to get on the road to get home for dinner, but I'll pull them out when I get there and uh, go over the sheds and show you what I found. All right, well, it's the next day, March 15th. Didn't have time to do this yesterday, but figured I'd do it today. I ended up finding four sets and uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen sheds all together. Uh, a couple smaller match sets. This year will be one to watch in a couple years for sure. And then the uh, set off the big eight from 2020. But definitely the uh, fine of all fines was this right here um you can see this is a set right here and then we have this one in with it too the six point set right there and then there's another four point side stuck in there, which is also a shed. And that's crazy. There's some thorns mixed up in it too, but I've never seen anything like this, at least not with three antlers. So it's pretty sweet and uh, definitely a conversation piece.